It will affect the culture, the communities, homes, and maybe even countries are as many people's livelihoods. Now, there's something that I would like to share with you. It also concerns our social situation. Alam nyo ba na ang estilo natin pagkain, ang laki ng epekto, may epekto sa climate change, kung ano ang kinakain natin. Lahat ng kinakain natin, meron tinatawag na food carbon footprint. Kasi everything we produce in this world, meron carbon footprint. Gagawa ka ng bahay, may carbon footprint. Magtatanim ka ng uh, palay, meron carbon footprint. Meron carbon emission. Magbabiyahe ka by air, by land, by sea, meron carbon footprint. Yung pagkain, meron. Yung andito, ibibigay ko sa inyo yung ranking ng food. Ang gagamitin kong basihan ng ranking ng carbon, carbon footprint sa pagkain. Kung ano yung carbon footprint ninyo, kung kayo ay magdadrive ng kotse, let's say, magdadrive kayo ng kotse ng isang kilometro, sampung kilometro, 100 kilometers. One kilo of food, itatranslate ko sa inyo in terms of how many kilometers of travel by an ordinary car. Magugulat kayo rito. Number one, pinakamalakas na konsumo. One kilo of lamb. Yung lamb, ba? Ang equivalent niyan, para kang nagbiyahe ng 146 kilometers. Malayo ba yung 146 kilometers? Malayo. Ganyan, pag kumain kayo ng isang kilo ng lamb. Number two, beef. One kilo of beef. 101 car kilometers ang equivalent niyan para kang nagbiyahe. Yung cheese, mahilig tayo sa keso, 49 car kilometers. Pork, marami kumakain ng pork dito. 45 kilometers. Kaya kung kumain kayo, limbawa yung pamilya nyo, kumain ng isang kilo ng pork today, para kayo nagbiyahe, nagkalag kayo ng carbon dioxide over a 45 kilometer travel. Nakita nyo ba ang epekto ng pagkain? Turkey! 40 kilometers. Chicken, 25 kilometers. Tuna, 22 kilometers. Eggs, 17 kilometers. Potatoes, 11 kilometers. Rice, medyo konti, 9.6 kilometers. Tapos yung mababa, andito na, nuts, 8 kilometers. Beans, 7 kilometers. Vegetables, 7 kilometers. Milk, 6.4 kilometers, fruit, 4 kilometers, at yung pinakamababa, yung lentil, yung uh, parang patani, parang patani yan, 3.2 kilometers. Kumusta yung diet nyo ngayong araw na ito? Marami mo kayong kinaya kakainig beef, marami mo kayong kakainig pork, sa mga susunod na araw. Imagine, 100 million Filipinos, more than 100 million Filipinos. Pag tumaas ang social level natin, Pag tumaas ang economic level natin, kakain tayo ng masasarap na pagkain. We are going to to uh, consume uh, yung mga richer kind of food like uh, meat, like pork, like beef, like lamb, like chicken, and less vegetables. But you can see kung ano epekto sa climate change sa ginagawa natin. I hope this uh, bring home some message. What can we do as ordinary people? Baguhin natin yung diet natin. Ikwento natin sa mga kaibigan natin, yung napakinggan natin dito, na ang laki ng epekto ng ating kinakain sa climate change. And all of us can do something about it. Ito yung tinatawag na food carbon imprint. In other words, uh, we have to eat vegetarian. There is not only a health reason for eating vegetarian, there is a climate change reason for eating vegetarian. Eat organic. Hindi na kailangan. Eat organic. Save water. Shop wisely. And shop local. Bakit shop local? Kasi pag bumili ka ng mga produkto na malayo, that product is going to consume a lot by way of transportation. Kasi kung yung pinakain ninyo galing sa malayong lugar, 
bago makarating sa apat ka ina niya, ang daming biyahe ang dadaanan. Kaya mas mayigi, pag bibili kayo ng pagkain, bumili kayo ng pagkain sa malapit lamang para mas mahina ang kanyang carbon imprint. And of course, uh, uh, try to reuse and uh, recycle. Now, I'd like to give a lecture also on extreme weather due to climate change. And this lecture is based on the course I took in the World Bank. Warm, warming Pacific Ocean, rising sea level, Typhoon Yolanda or Hayan Spear Research expect more and increasingly more intense typhoons in the coming months and years because climate change, because of climate change. Ito yung report na ginawa ko na sinabit ko sa World Bank, no? Ano ang dahilan dito sa climate change na ito? And I would like to state... Next uh, slide, please. Okay. There is a scientific basis to expect that more, even stronger typhoons will come, not after decades, but much sooner, as the world continues to warm and as nature simply follows the inviolable laws of physics that created Typhoon Yolanda or Typhoon Haiyan. Typhoon Yolanda happened November 8, 2013. Alam na natin yan. Hindi natin kailangan maliwanag yan. At nakakalungkot because one day before the typhoon hit us, there was a live science report that came out giving a warning on the build-up, the, in the increasing build-up of the typhoon, the expectation that ty the typhoon Hayat was going to become the most intense typhoon in our history at that time. Ito. Galing sa live science, ano? Nakalagay dito. Next slide. Hayan got so strong because it has everything working for it, according to the report. First, it formed in the open ocean and thus no land mass prevented it from forming a symmetrical circular pattern which helps a cyclone form and gather steam. Parang tao rin may buwelo. Yung type po nagbubuwelo. Pag ang tinadaanan mo, walang obstacle, tuloy-tuloy, pabilis ka ng pabilis. Pero kung medyo liliko ka ng konti, you're going to slow down. Pag meron nakaharang sa'yo, it will uh, diffuse your energy. Ganun din ang typhoon. Wide open. And as we all know, the Pacific Ocean is the biggest ocean in the world. Yan ang unang paano. No? Second, ocean temperature. Ocean temperatures today are increasingly, incredibly warm. Topping at about 30 degrees Celsius. Just as important, the warm water also extends deep into the ocean. Uminit yung ocean, at yung init ng ocean, pumunta sa malalim talaga. Not just on the shallow surface, but much lower, meaning that upwelling caused by the winds will not churn up cold water, hindi lalamig yung tubig, which dampens. Pag lumamig kasi yung tubig, nadadipen ang power ng typhoon. Tropical cyclones are basically giant heat engines powered by the transfer of heat from the ocean to the upper atmosphere. Warm ocean, papunta sa upper atmosphere. Pag warm ang ocean, lalo lumalakas ang typhoon. And that's the situation in the Pacific area. Third, there is very little wind shear in the area at that time. Pag sinabing wind shear, ito yung typhoon papunta rito, Yung wind shear, ganito, no? Pag medyo parang aeroplano. Pag aeroplano, tindamaan ng wind shear, medyo babagal ng konti. Magkakaroon ng turbulence, it slows down the plane. In the same way, when it comes to hurricanes or typhoons, it also slows down the cyclone, the, uh, the hurricane, or the typhoon, and prevents them from strengthening. But at that time, there was no wind shear in the Pacific Ocean. So, pinedict nila that Hayan is likely to push a large storm surge inland. Sinabi nila surge, nag-warning na sila. Magkakaroon ng surge up to 3 meters or about 10 feet. And as we all know, ang mas maraming namatay doon sa surge yung pag-akit ng dagat sa lupa. Na-predict nila yan, yung surge. Okay. 
Pero ito ang malungkot na nangyari po research na nire-report ng mga scientists bago dumating yung typhoon. Pero nakakalungkot, dito sa atin, hindi natin napaliwanag ng gusto. I'm sorry to say. Nagkaroon ng warning ng pag-asa. Ito yung warning, no? I uh, copy this, uh, 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 Director uh, Solidum. I copy this from the official uh, uh, statement of pag-asa. Nilagay yung mga warning. Sabi dito, location strength. Nalagay, 225 kilometers per hour. Okay lang. Uh, sanay tayo dyan. Sabi ng mga taga-takloban, ah, sanay kami dyan. 225 kilometers per hour. Kaya namin yan. 260 kilometers per hour. Aba, medyo malakas. Pero pwede pa rin. So, ito yung mga sinabi rito, no? Nagkaroon ng mga warning. Uh, ano yung mga affected areas in the Visayas? Ito. Ayan. Ito, nakalagay dito. But unfortunately, merong warning on search. Pero tignan nyo kung nasaan yung warning ng search. Ando sa pinakababa. Line number 57 of the Pag-asa Statement. Sino nagbabasa ng line number 57? Sino? Siyempre, unahin mo yung taas. Line number 57 ng Pag-asa It was a by-the-way statement ang nakalagay dito. Sabi, magkakaroon ng, uh, andito no, magkakaroon ng source sa line number 57 saying that it's going to be a source of about uh, 10, meet, about, uh, 10 feet or even higher, mga 3 meters andito sa line number 57. And in fact, what happened there, that was the warning before the storm. So, Alos footnote lang yung surge, which turned out to be the killer. And unfortunately, this was also uh, repeated by the major newspapers, Philippine Star. Ganon din pinanggit nila. Pinanggit nila yung lakas ng uh, wind. And then towards the end of uh, the story, pumasok yung surge nila. It was a footnote mentioned. So, there was no warning pagdating niya. Ipa. Yung statement ni Tacloban City Mayor Alfred Romualdez, it was hard to explain. The storm surged to the people. Surged ang sabi, sino nakakaintend din ng surge during that time? It would have been better if they say, yung surge parang uh, tsunami yan. In fact, the effect is virtually the same. But it was not explained that way. It explained in terms of... Uh, So, I'm finding out that the storm surge not explained enough. Not explained enough. And in fact, the Pakasa official later admitted that after the damage has been done. Yun ang nakakalukot. Yan ang satellite photo ng uh, Yolanda. You know, back on the area. Ito mga resulta niya. sea level rise. By the way, the other aspect is uh, sea level rise. Ito yung lecture din ng World Bank, no? In terms of uh, sea level rise. Bakit tumaas ang sea level rise? Nagkaroon kasi ng combination. Uh, next slide, please. Next slide. Next slide, please. Ayan, ayan. Ito, ito, no? Yung hangin nagkagaling sa may bandang east. At that time, the wind, at that time of the year, the wind was blowing from the east, east doon, papunta ng west. Papunta ng west, papunta sa atin. Ito. Ayan, dito. Ang lugar ng Pilipinas, mataas na ang sea level rise dyan. According to scientists, sorry, according to scientists, the sea level rise in our part of the world, because we are near the equator, is about 10 to 15 percent or even higher than the average sea level rise all over the world. But it was aggravated 